Yeah. <clears throat> so, you know how the Norwegian police torture me? Mentally. They have done something horrible to a family member of mine, you know? A really, really horrible thing to be done to a human being, you know? Really, really horrible. Just to use my culture flaws, you know, to, to, to use that against me. And it's nothing new to the Norwegian police. Well, if you just want to just open the closed uh, books. Now, let's, if we just were going to take a look at it. The Norwegian police, in, uh, there was this A-gang members, you know, who bought stuff and just put it on uh, in Brazil, you know. Bought some stuff, you know, they had the money from Norway and bought some assets, assets in Norway, uh, in Brazil, you know. When they done that, the Norwegian police knew that these are gang members and stuff. They went to Brazil and anyways, like, came to Norway. What they done to, have the, to the gang members, they put, they put their family members in jail, you know. Hope you see that shit. They put the family members in jail, you know, to hurt the family, to hurt the gang members, you know. So what the Norwegian police has done to me, well, you know, it's the same thing. It's almost the same, the same thing, but in the open, you know. Like, it mimics all the tactics of the Norwegian police, uh, like in jail in, in the, the official process, to break the gang members down, you know, to, to, to break them down. It mimics the same, you know, tactics, but in the open, you know. So they have done something horrible to me and to my family member. You know, um, to humiliate me, you know, but they didn't care how old she was, you know, they just didn't give a shit. They didn't give a rat ass about her age, you know. So, yeah, they did something horrible to her. So every time they want to torture me, they just remind me of that and they know that hurts. You know, they know that this is extremely hurtful, you know? Uh, so they keep reminding me of that, you know, and when I get reminded of that, of course, I'm, you know, boiling inside. That's one part. The other part, I'm being tortured, you know, mentally. If not physically, it's mentally. If not mentally, it's psychologically, you know? So they just keep reminding me of that because it hurts. And they know it hurts. And in the process of hurting me, they put people who has nothing, absolutely nothing with the whole thing to do. Between me and them. You know? But you might take my analogy as I'm a gang member or something, you know, as a gang member or something. I have never been involved in any of that shit. You know? The Norwegian police wanna just be, just wanna keep me silent. That's all what they are thinking of. That's all what, you know, you might think, oh, well, be, maybe this guy is a gang member. Maybe this guy is that because he's just related. He just compared his situation to the A gang members, you know. But I'm telling you, the Norwegian police, the, their sole purpose of life at the moment is to just keep me silent. You know, they are doing their best to keep me silent. Their very best to keep me silent. Going around, oh, this guy's crazy. This guy's that. This guy's this, you know. But the whole goal, the main goal of this shit, of all of this process, this big fuck off process, is to just keep me silent about whatever has happened to me and to my family members, you know? And because it hurts, they're just gonna keep pushing me, you know, pushing, 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 pushing me. To keep me mentally and physically and psychologically drained. That's the police. Or so-called police. I don't know. I'm even dealing with the police anymore. I'm dealing with a fucking murderers or gang or something. You know? That's the police. And unfortunately, other countries give them, you know, the power to, to operate in their countries, you know, without a permission. Or with their permission, under their permission, you know? Unfortunately, man. 
But I know, I know the Norwegian police want to meet that. I do know that. I'm, I know that. You know, I'm very, very uh, flattered by uh, by the operation, by the whole operation. You know, I'm really flattered though, and I know they want me dead. You know, I do know that they want me dead. But how long gonna are you going to keep the truth hidden? You know, one year, two more years, three more years, five more years. Truth will always comes out. Always will be coming out. You know? And if they want me that bad dead, well, <laughs> show me. Just show me, torture me. Torture me. Torture me. And imagine something happens to me in here. What's going to happen in the United States?